Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. If you have a forward head posture, this is the perfect class for you. Forward head posture, which means is the alignment of your head is in front of your shoulder from the lateral view. Um, it's often associated with discomfort in the neck and the shoulder region, as well as a kyphotic, a round back um, posture. So we're going to do some Pilates based exercises to improve the alignment of the head and the spine. What we need for this class, if you have a full roller at home, that's great, or even a half roller will work. However, if you do not have any access to any roller, you can do, you can roll up towels. So I have two towels that I stacked up, I fold it in half, and then I then roll the towel to create a roller-like shape, like so. Okay, we're gonna put that aside for a second. And then we're going to start sitting. So we're going to start in a diamond leg position, feet together, knees apart. And I'd like you to sit perching on your sitting bone, on your pelvis, lifting the spine as tall as you can, as straight as you can, lengthening out towards the ceiling. Now what we're going to do the first time is we're going to activate our abdominal muscle. So we inhale through the nose. Try to think about expanding the rib cage sideways. Now as we exhale, I'd like you to draw up the lower abdominal the middle abdominal and pull the abdominal muscle up and towards the lumbar spine, the lower spine, to create like a strong pillar-like foundation for the body. And we let go. And exhale, we lift, inhale, exhale, Inhale, just activating the abdominal muscle, the deep abdominal muscle. Exhale, which is called the transversus abdominal. And let it go. Let's do two more. Exhale, lift, lift, lift. And inhale. And again, exhale. and let it go. And then we're gonna move on with some neck stretches. So let's take your right arm up and then gently pull the head over to the right shoulder, feeling a nice lovely stretch on the lateral, the outside of the left neck muscle. Stay there, three, two, one, and let it go. And over to the other side. Gently pull the head over to the left shoulder. Breathing. Three, two, one. And let it go. And let's do some neck circles. So we're going to just create a circular movement. Rounding, just breathe naturally. Keep it easy. And just observe. Is there any side of the neck that is sort of more, uh, a little bit tighter, or you feel more discomfort? Just observe that. And then over to the other side, circling the neck around. Again, again, observe. Is there any part of the neck that feels a little bit uncomfortable? Maybe take it easy or tighter and come back to center. Okay, now press your hands down to the side of your pelvis, lengthening the spine. Let's take the right arm up, 
reach up to the ceiling and then gently stretch your body over to the left just opening the right side of the body here and come back up press the hands down left arm comes up reach up to the ceiling and over to the right and lift up and let it go and then let's rotate towards the left so i'm going to take my right hand onto my left knee as i inhale i lift my spine and i exhale i rotate further and release and rotating to the right as i inhale you lift my spine exhale i'm gonna try to glance up further further behind me as i twist my spine and let it go okay let's go ahead lying supine so turn to your side of your body and then go ahead and lie on your back now here if somehow your neck feels you are in the position where you are in a compressed neck position or your neck is in um, hyperextension here okay now what you can do is grab a towel a small towel and fold it and just place it underneath your head so that the alignment of your neck is slightly more lengthened okay so just Put on some towel or a small pillow if you need to. But if you have no problem lying supine like I'm doing, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so what I want you to do here, have your feet hip width distance apart in parallel. Okay, so your pelvis is lying naturally. Collarbone open. Lengthening the tip of the shoulder down towards the floor. Arms are reaching long to your feet and your, your head is grounded to the floor or the pillow or the cushion that you're having. All right, what we're gonna do is some head nodding exercise. Okay, now as you breathe out, I like you to just draw the chin towards the neck and try to lengthen the neck down to the floor stretching the neck extensors the muscles at the back of the neck and then we let it go and then gently stretch the chin down to the neck creating a little double triple chin here and then let it go and again as you do this take care that you're not arching your back by pushing your neck down but you want to keep the alignment of the spine the upper the middle and the lower spine as we create this double chin and let it go so we are just stretching the back of the neck here and let it go we go one more time and then we not lengthening and then release now we're going to do the same thing here so we're going to knot down but at the same time we're going to pull the abdominal muscle and we're going to rock the pelvis up and imprint the lumbar spine to the floor so your tailbone is curling up towards the ceiling and your chin is pressing into your neck creating an imprinted neck and imprinted lower spine basically the whole spinal column is lengthening down to the floor and we let it go again exhale gently rock the pelvis and imprint the neck down and let it go and so we are again mobilizing the spine stretching the spine and exhale in hope to get a little bit more range of movement in your spinal column and let's do two more exhale and let it go last one okay and let it go now I'd like you to imprint leave the pelvis alone imprint the neck down so double chin and then go ahead and turn your head to what's me so i'm turning to my right and center and turning to the left and center and let it go two more times and imprint the neck muscle lift the pelvis alone head to the right center 
head to the left, center, and let it go. Again, observe which side feels tighter. And, and that's the side you want to put more tension to and let it go. Okay, now let's take your arms up to the ceiling here. All right, palms facing to each other. I'd like you to stretch those fingertips up to the ceiling, then lift the tip of the shoulders up. So you're lifting the scapula off the floor and then allow the gravity to take them down. Boom, just drop it. And then reach up and then gravity will take the shoulders down. Down, and then reach up. So we are separating shoulder plate and then we bring, in that, bring them back to neutral. Again, reach, stretch, and ah, one more. Reach up and go. Let's do alternate. Just go right arm, reach and drop. Left arm, reach and drop. Right arm, reach and drop. Left arm, reach and drop. One more each side, reach and drop. And then reach and drop, stay, hold the arms facing the ceiling. Now I like you to double chin yourself. So lengthening the neck down. Now, paying a special focus on the rib cage here. So I like you to take the right arm over head while keeping the chin down without lifting the rib cage. So keeping the rib cage long, pelvis is in neutral, and then bring the arms up and let the neck go. And then imprint the neck down, double chin, and then the left arm goes next to your ears without disturbing the rib cage. So I'm trying to think of draw using my upper abdominal to lengthen my left rib cage towards my pelvis. And then I take my arm up and let go of my neck. Two more sets. And I imprint my neck and take the right arm overhead without disturbing the rest of the spine. And let it go. Again, imprint my neck. Left arm overhead without disturbing the rest of the spine. And let it go. Let's go one more each side and imprint. And up. Last one, imprint. And up. Excellent. Now I like you to turn the palms towards the knee. Bend the elbows to the side. So you're creating like a little goalpost position here. And then externally rotate the shoulder as you bring the forearm down to the floor. So you're creating like a goalpost arm position. Bringing the knees and your thighs together and your feet together. So we're moving on to a spine twist supine here. So press the shoulders down and the elbows and hopefully the hand down right here. If this is uncomfortable for you, perhaps you can actually place a cushion or towel underneath the arm here just to support your shoulder rotation. Okay, so moving on, rotate from the waistline. We're going to turn the leg to your right as, I as you turn your head to the left. And then exhale, shh, back to the center. Inhale, legs travel together, it's one unit. Exhale, shh, center. Inhale, legs to the right, head to the left. Exhale, shh, inhale. Exhale, let's go one more set here. Inhale, so we're mobilizing the spine here and activating the oblique muscle. Last one, inhale and opening the chest here. And stretching the muscles across the front of the chest and back to center. Okay, and let that go, awesome. Right, I'd like you to turn onto your side here. We're going to do some shoulder or arm windmill Knees are together, feet are together. Now, your arms are going to be in front of you like so, and your head, if it is comfortable for you, you can just drop it down. But if it's not, grab the towel, place it underneath your head, and rest your head on it. 
Okay, so you can do this way or you can just remove the towel altogether and just drop the head down if this is comfortable for you. All right, now I'm going to do this way because this feels fine with me. Now I want you to glide the top arm forward, circle the arm overhead, trail the arm down on the floor, rotate your chest, your trunk, your spine, bring the arm down and then glide forward, just keep breathing here naturally, circle down and push this roller away and again let's do two more times, in breath and then exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, let's go the other direction we go down up and again in breath and up. one more two more actually in breath and last one in breath and back center okay let's turn around to the other side we're going to do the same so we're going to do the arm windmill here we have the knees together all right place the um towel underneath your head if you need to all right let's go inhale forward and then overhead rotate the trunk and then down again in breath and back and down, two more, in breath, reach long, open the chest, and down, one more, in breath, and go down, let's go the other way, and we go, in breath, and up, and get in breath, circle around, Two more, in breath, and circle around, last one, in breath, and circle around, and come back. All right, let's sit up. Okay, this is where we need the towel or the roller. So if you have a full roller, like so, you can go ahead and lie on the roller this way, so the full spine. But if you don't have a full roller, you have a half roller. You're going to lie with your thoracic, your middle back on the roller and your head on the roller. Okay? But if you don't have any rollers, that's fine. Roll two towels, like I just mentioned earlier. So just roll the towel. I have two here, so create a little thicker. But if you have a beach towel, that will be perfect, actually. And just create uh, whatever thickness is required for your body. I'm not, I'm actually quite tiny. I'm actually only five foot one and a half, or five foot two on good days. So um, this is sufficient for me. Okay, perhaps you need a thicker roller, all right? So just create one that is suitable for your body. All right, so now you've got the roller or the towel. Have your middle spine at the end of the roller, of the towel. I should stop saying roller, the towel. And then go ahead and just lie on your back with your feet, hip with distance apart, parallel. So the roller, the sorry, the towel is now on your spine, okay? Hands on the tip of the shoulder. We're gonna do some shoulder circle. We're gonna bring the elbows together. Circle around, and again, in breath, three more, two, one, the other way please, inhale, two, three, two more, 
One more. Okay, now stretch your arms up to the ceiling, palms lifting each other. Again, reach those fingertips up, lift the shoulders up, and then drop the shoulders down. Again, inhale and drop them. Three more. Two. One. Now reach them up and just let the shoulders settle down. You don't have to drop it all the way to the floor, just naturally settle down. Now take your arms out, open to the T position, to the side. Exhale, start from the abdominal muscle, draw the belly in and then take your arms to the ceiling. Again, inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Okay, turn the palms to your knee. Right arm goes overhead, left arm down to the hip. Watch that you don't hyperextend the rib cage. So contract the abdominal muscle to let the spine settle down up. And again, alternate, exhale. So arm changes here. In breath. One more each side. Last one. And stay. Now let's do some arm circle. Both arms up over next to your ears. Again, try not to hyperextend the rib cage. Lift the rib cage up. Circle the arms to the side and down. Again, in breath. Exhale. Three more. Two. Last one. We reverse. We go down. In. Up. Exhale. And two. And three. And four. Last five. Okay. Now, take the arms up to the ceiling again. Palms facing towards your knee. Bend the elbows like the goal pose we did before. Bring the elbows as low as possible. Perhaps you may be able to touch the floor. And then go ahead and externally rotate the shoulder, bringing the forearm towards the floor. As much as possible. Perhaps you may touch the floor. Maybe you don't. So just, you know, don't force it. Okay, go as far as you can. And you can even place some um, towel underneath your forearm to support the position. Okay, all you need to do here is just breathe. All right, you may even close your eyes. Okay, focus on expanding the rib cage sideways to the side of the rib cage and to the back of the rib cage as you inhale through the nose. As you exhale, just deflate the rib cage. That's all. All right, we'll go. Inhale through the nose. Imagining, visualizing your rib cage expanding sideways like little balloons or bubble gums and to the back of your ribs. Exhale. Let the rib cage melt. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing here. Perhaps when you inhale, you feel some restriction around the chest, the rib cage, the side of the rib cage, the armpit. Observe. Okay? Just observe. And see if you can. As you inhale, try to create a little bit more expansion, a little bit more stretch out feeling. And as you exhale, you feel the whole rib cage just deflating, melting. You can even use the imagery of a melting chocolate. 
something heavy. Okay, let's go a few more. Inhale, expand out. Exhale. Allow your body, allow your ribcage to be more a, like a plasticine like matter. Able to stretch out, able to be molded as you want to be. Again, inhaling. Allow the gravity to do its work, to open the chest, to sink the spine down into the towel, into the roller. We're going to do two more times here. Inhale. Last one. As you inhale, invite a sense of relaxation to enter into your body, into your shoulder, into your chest, into your mind. Exhale. Just go with it. Okay, you can continue more, continue on, but I'm going to stop here and I'm going to stretch my arms and I'm going to roll to the side and I'm going to push the roller away or the towel away to the side. And I like you to just quickly lie on your back, still have your knees bent, allow the arms to flop out with the palms facing up by the side. And just observe your spine and your neck right now. How does it feel? Is it different? How do you feel? Okay, and maybe let's do one more breath, breathing. We inhale. And we exhale. Okay, well done. You are done. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'd like you to observe how, what is your neck position right now? So go ahead, find a mirror and see how is your head aligned with your neck and the shoulder and how is your spinal alignment as well? So go ahead, have a look in the mirror and comment before, let me know. Okay, have a great day. I hope to see you in my other class.